Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm, and uh, we're talking about bee pollen, uh, Durham's fresh bee pollen from Walls, Mississippi. Uh, when you eat fruits and vegetables, you want them to be, to be fresh, and the same should be with bee pollen. It's easy to tell if an apple is old. It's more difficult to tell if your bee pollen uh, is old or fresh. Uh, Pollen is perishable. Your commercial packers, they dehydrate it to help preserve it. Uh, most of the bee pollen on the market probably has been through two or three brokers, two or three warehouses, and uh, will probably, when you bite down on it, it will feel like a rock. When you bite down on our pollen, it will mash. It will not feel like a pebble or a rock. We ship direct to the public. We don't send it through warehouses. So when you get our pollen, you are getting fresh, the freshest bee pollen you can get. Uh, uh, how does bee pollen taste? Uh, it's, it's, it's like something you've never tasted. Uh, if you go out and, and get a dandelion bloom in your yard and eat it, uh, it's quite different from anything you've ever tasted it. You're not taking pollen for fl for flavor. You're taking it for nutrition and energy. Uh, do not expose your bee pollen to the heat. It will break down the protein in pollen. Do not expose it to ultra ultraviolet sun rays. Uh, keep your pollen refrigerated. If you're going on a week trip, uh, several days, take enough bee pollen to last you that trip and you do not have to keep it refrigerated that length of time. Uh, do not leave it in an automobile with windows rolled up in July and August, or do not put it on the dash. Uh, the ultraviolet sun rays will break down the protein and pollen. All right, um, one myth that uh, is being uh, spread around is that, that pollen has a shell on it. Uh, that is bogus, that's bogus as it can be. When, when the honeybee goes to a bloom like this right here, you see this, the bloom is not open, but yellow bloom. Here's a, here's a white bloom. And, and they go inside that bloom. That is just, I'm gonna try to open it up. That is just, just beautiful. And this bloom, the pollen in this bloom it has a, a, it's a very fine dust, a very fine powder. And if you go out and get a dandelion and mash it between your fingers, uh, you will, you, you will see this right here, a very fine powder. And the honeybees, so the honeybee can collect this fine powder and carry it back to the hive, the honeybee produces an enzyme uh, and that enzyme uh, enables the honeybee to pack, stick that powder together, pack it together into a granular so they can carry it back to the hive. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to carry it back to the hive. Now here, right here is the granulars and this is what you, the customer, sees at the, at the end, okay? But this originally was an extremely fine powder like this. And it, it does not have a shell on it. Uh, the enzyme that the bee produced helps her pack this together into a granular like this right here. Now, uh, you can take bee pollen many different ways. You can, uh, our family uh, mixes it into a smoothie. You can put it on salad. My wife, she likes to mix it in a yogurt, in a salad. Uh, I would not put it in anything hot, but something of a cool nature or, or uh, a, a natural. And here's another bloom here, a, pur a beautiful purple bloom. So uh, I hope that answers your question concerning bee pollen being in a shape. show you a pollen box and how we... Beekeepers collect pollen, and it's it's very simple. And there's different kinds, but basically they all work the same way. 
um, this pollen box uh, they fly through it, they fly they go through it to get inside the hive and when they do then it, it bumps the pollen off their legs into the pollen box and you see the nice pretty pollen and you have to harvest that daily and uh, uh, one other question that we get quite often is uh, uh, dissolve pollen in water and the answer is no don't do it you don't have to do it it's not necessary uh, that's another myth that that uh, floating around okay if you can if you can see this honeybee working the sunflower bloom The, all the sunflowers are uh, facing east, and I'm kind of feminine into the sun, so I hope you can hope you can see it okay. Okay, maybe you can see the another honeybee, and she's gathering pollen. The, uh, these sunflowers are loaded with pollen, and these uh, these sunflowers are not not sprayed with any chemicals. Any chemicals. I don't know if you can see the the pollen on her back legs. I don't know if I'm too close, but she just now started gathering pollen, and she's uh, gathering it and 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 storing it, packing it on her hind legs. And there she went to an, an, another flower. So I hope you can, hope you can see it. Okay, this is a beautiful sunflower yard, and now all the sunflowers are basically facing east. So now we have the sun behind us, and you can see the, the back side of the sunflowers. And these sunflowers are not sprayed with any chemicals whatsoever. Okay, it's about 103 degrees today, and honeybees, when it gets hot, they collect water droplets and place the water droplets all through the hive, and then they circulate air through the hive. If you'll see these bees right here, uh, they're standing still, but they're flapping their wings, and they're 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 drawing air out of the hive. They're circulating air through the hive, and you can hear them. So that's how they cool their hive. May y'all have a good day from Durham's Bee Farm in Walls, Mississippi. Thank you.